Yes, yes, this is Uncle T boxing. And we're just uh, here trying to do some workout. Well, you're trying to do some <laughs> workout. <laughs> so you don't, don't let me stop you. Just carry on doing what you're doing. I'm just going to be throwing questions at you. You know what I mean? So we could even get a bit, little bit of a snippet of what you're doing today. I see, I see you looking at... I see you looking at the kettlebells, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know I know it's gonna be like what, what was it? Twenty kilos or what? No, 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 no. I've got a warm in, mate. Okay, I've got okay. Don't try to fix me just Yeah. So um, how have you been man? Yeah, I'm alright man. I'm just training, trying to just get myself in shape, you know what I mean? Trying to get strong. And just trying to be healthy, you know what I mean? In that's general. And that's all you can be, you know what I'm saying? So uh, right now I'm just going to do some uh, strength stuff and maybe later on I'll do some cardio stuff but once that cardio stuff starts I won't be able to talk to you so okay, I, it's I, I, long I, so I'll just do some little bits here yeah. and then we'll kind of just kind of go from there. You know? yeah, I'll just hurry up with our questions. <laughs> so um, yesterday I saw um, the thing with um, um, at the yard, he's finally yeah. landed up in um, Russia. Yeah I see and they fucking missed, <laughs> missed they his bag. <laughs> They try the thing, aren't they? What do you reckon? Yeah, that's normal. Especially Russia, mm. them kind of places. You gotta be careful with the water, the food he eats, where he eats. All those kind of stuff are gonna be detrimental. Look, Lucas Brown went there, he won the fight, he failed the drugs test. You know what I mean? So you're gonna be have to be very, very careful. So if he does win, they're gonna have to pay a, a, attention to where they're eating, the waters and fluid and stuff. Those guys have got money, man. They don't mess around down there. You know what I mean? So I, I imagine with his luggage, he's probably got a few things of his personal stuff that Listen, he was probably counting on. <laughs> that bag's probably never going to turn up. I heard him talking about, oh yeah, tomorrow it's going to turn up. That bag may never turn up. And even if it turns up, he has to watch out what, what they put in it. You know what I mean? In yeah. any of his stuff. You know I mean? mm. So yeah, last week, your guy, well, not Watch your up. guy, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> yeah, <go on. laughs> he came out and said um, Andy Louise, um, the left hook punch was a lucky punch. Um, what do you reckon Listen, when you hear things like that? Um, I don't know. I kind of get the idea what he's talking about, the lucky punch, because he, he probably feels that he was in control. Mm -hmm. He was uh, winning the fight. Mm. And then that one particular shot mm. changed the dynamic of the fight. Oh. But then I think that's a shot what Andy Ruiz was looking for. So you can't say it was lucky because that's a shot he chose to pick at that time and he caught you. So, but I can, I, can, I can grasp where he's coming from. But listen, Andy Ruiz is a slick operator. Joshua did kind of take his eye off the prize a little bit and uh, he got dropped four times after that. So, you know, it was a great win for Andy. So he shouldn't really say lucky. Well, it's a similar sort of left hook that um, your bro deal gave to him in that like, little dust top. Um, yeah, but I think Dillian said from a long time that mm. Anthony Joshua's, you know, open for that left hook and you see he caught him in that fight. He was caught by Povetkin on that side also. So, you know, this is heavyweight boxing. If you get caught, you get hurt, irrespective of what side it is. It's just how you kind of come back. You can see Joshua has that determination and strength because, listen, he went down four times and he got up, what was it, four times. So, we know he's got the desire and heart and hunger. I don't know, I believe the rest stopped it a little bit premature for me. But listen, it is what it is. Credit to Andy, he got the win. Now Joshua's taking his time and gonna focus on the rematch. And he's not he's not messing about. He's putting his time in and he's uh he's doing his thing. You get what I'm trying to say? How so, do you see this rematch going? What do you what, I think what, if, what's um, you got feeling? I think if Joshua focuses. I think if Joshua focuses and uh you know, box is smart. The thing is, listen, Andy's very good in the exchanges. Joshua can't exchange with Andy. What he's got to do, I feel, is he's got to box simple, keep it basic, get the win and move on. Styles make fights. But the style with Andy is not a style where you're going to sit there and try and exchange because he's got fast hands and he throws very good combination punches. And Joshua's coming up short every time. So I think he just needs to be a bit strong when he's clinching. When it, you know, when he's holding against the rope, be a bit more stronger. He's the bigger guy, he's the stronger guy. I know he's got a lot of muscle and probably burns out a little bit faster, but that's the stuff he's gonna have to work on. The clinching, using his jab, lateral movement, and uh, just trying to be smart and get the win and move forward. 
Um, this is a situation with Lennox was in before with Hassan Ratman. He managed to come back and do it. All greats have managed to come back and win after adversity, after losing, and knowing where their mistake was, what they made. So, as a true champion, I hope he, he rectifies the errors. I don't know if there is enough time that he can, but listen, let's hope he does and gets to win and bring the belts back to the UK, man. There's some great fights here, some great bust ups. Okay, talking about UK, well, the fight is not going to be happening. There's going to be happening there. Saudi Arabia. No, but it's still for the UK. Yeah, I know. Um, in terms of Saudi Arabia and that, there's obviously a lot of people now coming out complaining, especially with the human human um, human rights and um, things, and you know the humanity and everything. What's your view with um, them fighting in Saudi Arabia? And why do you think the fight is happening in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> <laughs> okay, team man, follow the money, man. You know the signs, man. Come on, man. Follow the money. Listen. They got that big loot, they're paying big sheets. If the fight was over here, what would the fight be worth? What, 30 mil? Saudi Arabia, they're saying it's worth 70 or 100 mil? Come on, it's a no-brainer. He's offered Andy Ruiz 9 mil. When you hear that 100 mils on the line, Andy Ruiz, well, well within his rights to say, listen, buddy, I need a bit more money. <laughs> At first I was saying he's a greedy bastard, but when you hear what's on the line, you think, fuck it, you know what? Let me uh, think what I would do in that position. But uh, yeah, let him, let him try and get a bit more money, why not? If he can, he can have them by the bulls and try and get in another six mil, maybe get it to 15 million and then, listen, if he wins again, he's clear of Joshua, he's clear of all these, like, it's just him, Al Heyman, John T. Wilder with all the titles and those mother effers can have a round robin and, and keep all the belts in the US, you know what I mean? That's what they would try to avoid, the reason why they, it's because of the rematch clause. A hundred percent, because listen, if you win, once you sign, once you sign on the front end, you're in negative on the second, because even if you've won, they're still in control of everything. The money, where it's going to be, you don't really have too much of a say, and that's what you didn't want, you know what I mean? But listen, it is what it is. Now we're going to see, I don't know if this fight's going on, I'd like to go, I want to book and go. But the You're going to go? Yeah, yeah, I'll probably end up going. Okay. Uh, but what it is, is, I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Andy hasn't put it up on his Instagram, he's making a bit of a song and dance about it. So, we better not look too far ahead, because he said, listen, we're going to do this back in good old USA, New York, let's run it back there. That's what he's saying, so, you know, at the end of the day... I just think they just need to, to just... Uh, bump it up a little bit like you said maybe up to 15 mil maybe well I'm, and he'll probably just go i mean and just a few little details of maybe um what sort of food he'll be getting <laughs> his family how they're going to be treated his wife he obviously wants to take his wife there and things like that and just want, yeah he, he likes to take his whole family so you just want to make sure the world look after over there before he the signs, the dots, and them um, things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, how's your bro do? Because I know this must be a difficult time for him, where he's not allowed to speak. But he's a very outspoken guy, yeah. very honest guy. And right now, he's been there. This, the poor lead on it. So, how, how's he uh, feeling? He's obviously frustrated. Mm -hmm. Um, I heard a comment online. And one guy was like, "Well, he fucking talks too much. I'm happy he's just bloody not talking." <laughs> you got that kind of hate, yeah. but then you got a lot of love. Yeah. There's a lot of real, genuine fans yeah. that are out there and always messaging me their support and the encouragement for deal. I thank you guys as always and appreciate. You know what I mean? I think in the end, all will be revealed and uh, we'll have a clear situation. And those guys who were chatting all this shit about cheating, this and that, you guys can hear, uh, you know what I mean? Go suck a dick. <laughs> but uh, listen. What, what sort of time frame are we looking at? And listen, I heard a statement I'm not being, saying... I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I'm not yeah. in there with the lawyers and stuff. Yeah. And I don't know uh, what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So I heard a quote of um, Eddie Hearn saying Dill could possibly fight before the end of the year. Um, yeah, I think that's what... Yeah, no, that was from before they were saying that. So I think he's probably the same. He's not suspended to fight. He can fight. So the reality is they were looking at October, November, so it's supposed to be the same. So by the next few weeks, we're hoping there might be a, a clearer um, indication on what's happening. But listen, like I yeah. said, I'm not the lawyers. He's yeah. paid good money for a good team to advise him and he's listening to them. And I believe they'll, they'll have a, 
resolution in some form or fashion at some stage, you know what I mean? If he, if and when, or when he's being cleared, one thing that, one thing he's obviously, he can enjoy is obviously winning that instrument bell. He hasn't, he's been robbed of the, you the, know, the, enjoying the, the, that. No, the joy, yeah, of course, the passion. Listen, after waiting over 600 days to get the opportunity mm. to be a class operator who's had over 100 amateur fight, extensive Olympian as Ruiz, beating him, becoming mm. interim world champion and then having to be on the back foot and not enjoy that is obviously going to be uh, frustrating and hard to deal with. But, you know, listen, this is, he's a professional. Yeah. He's trying to deal with it as best as he can as a professional. Yeah. So we just got to kind of accept it what's going on and uh, as much as there is frustration he just got to hold his tongue and just say listen i got to wait and uh, the truth should be revealed at some stage and uh, I'll be able to talk about it maybe and move forward and, and be the interim world champ again and celebrate maybe you know once he gets his fight and just have that happiness what he missed out on the last time you know so um Change topic well, well, to what we got back earlier on. I need Yadin Kovalev. Yeah. Give him a good chance. Yeah, of course. Listen, we've got to go with man like Lions in the camp. Anthony Yard, we've got to give him him and Tunde. Tunde's done an excellent job with them. Uh, Frank Warren, the Queens League, they've done a great job with him. Look, he's uh, he's got a chance for a world title. Obviously, you know, we can see he's a very talented individual. Yeah. We don't know how good he is, but Saturday night, we're going to see he's, on the, he's, he's at the elite of the elites. Kovalev, who fought Andre Ward, pound for pound great, and done a good job in there against him in the first fight, even dropping him. He's got a great jab, he's strong, he punches hard. As they say, listen, the power is the last thing that leaves you when you're a boxer. So, Anthony Yard, he, I like his slipping and he's using the shoulder roll and stuff. We're going to see his, his, his defense is going to be, have to be up to par. Um, as everyone knows, ja um, was it John David Jackson was saying, listen, go to Kovalev's body. You know, Andre Wood done it. You've seen the blueprint to do it. So he's probably going to go to the body, but Kovalev's going to know that's what he's going to come and do. He knows what people are about. So let's see. Um, Anthony Yard at this level with the elite guys. Let's see, because we haven't seen him in any hard domestic fights and gauge where he is. He's won, he's, he's got great knockout power against the guys that he's faced. Let's see him against one of the elite guys. Kovalev somewhat is on a little bit of a slide. I wouldn't say it's dramatic slide, because like the crusher was an animal. He's killed a man in the room with his bare hands, and that shows the brute power he's got. Um, so let's see Saturday night, man. I'm gonna be rooting for the man like Anthony Yard, cover, uh, 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 was it, lies in the camp to destroy uh, the, the crusher late on. But listen, it's a very, very hard 50-50 fight. I'll be watching it. Sad that I'm not in Russia down there supporting. All love from Team White. Yeah. Um. yeah. I just had to, uh, my memory was full. <laughs> um, yeah, so Lou Campbell against um, Lomachenko or Lomachenko against uh, Lou Campbell. Listen, a very hard fight, man. Uh, you've got two Olympians. You've got one of the best to ever do it in Lomachenko, the Matrix, man. And you've got a former Olympian who's won gold. So it's a really interesting match of styles. Obviously, I'd give the edge to Lomachenko, um, but I, I wish Luke Campbell all the best. I think it is a tough ask, but you know, I'm gonna go with him because he's a British guy, and I'll back our home guys to try and go out there and do as best as he can, you know? I keep looking at your t-shirt. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need one of those tracksuits, man. Yeah, this man, it's soon, it's soon, it's soon What's going on with the management? Shaqan Peters is uh, he's fighting for an English title now, is yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, Shaqan's fighting on September the 14th on BT Sports on a Frank Warren show. Pick up those guys down there for making this happen. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that, it's a big card. Sonny Edwards is down there. Good fighter. Is it Brad Foster versus Lucian Reed? Okay, it's a big card. card, I heard it's sold out already. So, Zach Chili, Zach Chili against... Um, Zach, yeah, Zach Chili, there's Cole Lee. That's a next, that's a yeah. good, good fight. Who, who do you have that winning? Do you know what I think? Sorry, come a bit closer, sorry. Yeah. I think it's quite weird because why would... This, this, this. Why would why would Zach Chili go up from super middleweight to fight Cody Davis at light heavyweight, which is his weight class? You've given him all the advantage. Maybe money or he believes he can beat him, but sometimes he should, I think maybe he should have just stayed at his own weight class. Um, I've heard Cody Davis is quite a good talent. I've seen Zach Chili with it, um, fight. He seems quite good as well. 
listen, I don't know who's going to win that one, but it's just it's definitely an interesting fight. Is there a title on the line in that fight? It was, uh, it's apparently some elim uh, elim elimination. Elimination? Yeah, British. What? British, that's what he said, but I thought that's what I think he won. Who's Greg that? Richards. No, no, I spoke to him, he's, he's not got that. He I hasn't think, got no. that? Arthur? So, yeah, that's a, that's Lyndon Arthur is fighting for the Commonwealth, is he? And then, um, Watsi has got the British. Something like that. Yeah, but the, the eliminator, I thought that's because they've, they've mandated him to fight. Yeah, but they've, yeah, they've mandated Richards to fight Watsi. Yeah. But, you know, listen. They need to go there. There's not enough money in it at this stage yeah. for them to fight. I'm saying that if you you know, if I was your manager, you'd be trying to see if Boatsy wants to vacate. Boatsy is a former Olympian. He's moving quite, you know, he's a guy you just don't want to go into unless there's something great on the line. You know, those guys can fight later on down the line. He needs to vacate and maybe go and fight for a European title. What, you know what, what do you mean? think of Boatsy's next fight uh, next weekend? I don't know that guy. Is he, is he any good, that gentleman? Uh... He got beaten, he, he lost, he, what, but apparently it was a contestious, contestious one against Yidrim. You know Yidrim, you know the guy that got knocked out by, uh, by um, Chris Eubank Jr., super, super middle. He lost to him recently. He was meant to fight um, and he had at one stage and everyone was criticising him for yeah. that. But um, let me just pick that up for you. Back, oh, kick I mean. it! Oh, okay. You should have just kicked it back. That's okay. Good. Yeah. But yeah, if you don't know much about him, then there's no it's point talking about that. Fight. It's yeah. Fucking I think it's just another showcase for a Boatsy just to yeah. uh, just to look good. I mean. But yeah, bro, let me leave you in your getting into it now before you start blowing up. I don't want to embarrass you in front of the camera and that. <laughs> but yeah, got, thanks, listen, thanks, thanks for your time. What yeah, I'm doing what, now is yeah. not too hard because. I'm on camera, I can't really yeah. you know what I mean? yeah. train properly, but it's all good. Yeah. Thanks let's for the let's time. do something, man. I want to do that scheme, that scheme yeah, thing. Let's go, on now. Let's go. Yeah, alright then, we'll jump on well, it. Let's yeah? get it. Okay, <laughs> <see>. <laughs> okay, see you signing up.